So National Geographic is on a journey to explore the places throughout the Pacific and work closely with communities and governments to um, help understand their marine biodiversity. So develop surveys, collect data, provide information to communities and governments to really um, help protect the ocean. Um, our goal is to really inspire large-scale marine protected areas for the benefits of people and communities, both in terms of the biodiversity, in terms of economic benefits, benefits to fisheries, and benefits to the communities. Um, working closely with uh, indigenous leaders and communities that have been uh, connecting deeply with the ocean for eons, we really look at how we can blend indigenous knowledge and traditional knowledge with contemporary science to be able to um, work closely with communities to inspire these marine protected areas and collect information that will be valuable for communities. So we are very excited to be able to um, co-create and collaborate with ministries of education to help bring this expedition and bring the ocean conservation learnings into the classroom, both through photographs, through um, ocean science and literacy, curriculum development, really collaborating with ministries of education to inspire the sense of wonder and curiosity in students. Um, we really want to work with teachers as well as countries throughout the Pacific to be able to um, help develop ocean literacy skills, um, really thinking about how young people can become a national Geographic Explorer or a marine scientist or a marine engineer or something related to the ocean that'll help um, add value to communities and to the school systems. It's been such an honor and privilege to collaborate with SBC and their um, wonderful educational programs as well as this um, Pilna and PALS assessment that we've been working on. We really are looking at the, how we can add value and how our interventions as National Geographic can add value to ministries of education. So this, and specifically the ocean science and literacy pieces that we heard so much about, how can our interventions help support that, develop resources, support curriculum, support experiential learning for students that then can be, SBC can potentially share widely and we can co-create with ministries of education in some really um, powerful ways.